Remember when we did that thing? Yeah, I remember that thing. Yeah. We were there with another company too, uh, called NG2 Defense. This is Andrew, by the way. Hello. And Andrew has uh, donated one of these to us for us to cut on our water jet. We actually got to play around with this one on the range a bit, and we even did some sound tests to see a comparison of how loud the gun was before and how loud the gun was after. But the app that we downloaded to test it kind of sucked and it kept capping out so typically a 223 is about how loud Andrew it'd probably be about 165 decibel 165 levels without a suppressor without a, and then when you add this in there when we add our suppressor we're usually about mid 130s about 130s and shooting it we could tell a huge difference you think 130s still a lot it is, but it is so much more manageable than, than without. And I'm really excited to cut this one because if you're familiar with how suppressors work, uh, this one will will surprise you. It's a little bit different inside, wouldn't you say? It is, yeah. Okay. There's the end cap, half of it, oh. and there it is. Okay, so that's the inside of this suppressor, and that's quite different. How, how does that vary from a traditional one? So a traditional suppressor usually has baffles throughout the suppressor. So you'd either have a, a straight wall or some type of cone that usually has a hole through it. And so that means that as the round travels through the suppressor, there's only one way for it to go and that's through the hole or back through the original barrel and so with our design there are no baffles that are trapping those gases and not allowing them to expand so the, the rounds go through the gases are forced outwards into these outer chambers and they are naturally pushed forward and out the end so nothing is actually going back towards the the muzzle and everything's going forward so cleaner gun then a lot cleaner gun no gases coming back into your face no back pressure you can breathe and see a lot easier and it removes that back pressure that's a really unique design and that looks really cool in a cross section uh mitchell what kind of tpm rating would you give this one i'd say it's about a 20 to 40 depending on your density depending on density mm -hmm. it's actually more like 42 42 <laughs> wow that center core now this one it has been used right it has yeah yeah so that is that black is actually from normal use um that's kind of what the baffle piece looks like and then these are the front kind of baffles and they've got holes in them to allow stuff all the gases out the front but not a direct path electrical box see it Hmm, I don't think that's any closer, is it? No, that's at least four inches closer. Four inches closer. So our website's ng2defense.com. Uh, we have t-shirts, we have different products that we're selling uh, as well on, online. We have a, a muzzle brake, flash hider. These are a lot easier to purchase than a suppressor. Correct, right? so this is not a <laughs> suppressor. Don't have to pay the tax stamp on there. Uh, a lot cheaper as well. Awesome, well, go check them out and uh, take a look at their stuff.